I'd like to demonstrate for you the method of long multiplication. This is a technique that will let you multiply any two numbers of any size together. Uh, again, this is a, a method. It's not fundamental mathematics, but it's, it's, it's a technique that you can use that will help you uh, get answers. So let, let's, let's look at the, the basics of it. Uh, the basics of it is that we'll have something, let's say, uh, uh, 13 times 4. Okay? We write this out in the uh, column format, the way we did with long addition and, and long subtraction. 13, 4 times. So we write it this way. And then what we do is we multiply the first digit here, 4, by the first digit on the top row. So 4 times 3 is 12. Now, in this case, we've got a double digit, and we take the 1s and we put it down below, and we take the two, the the tens, and we put it up above the next column. Now, the next step is to take, again, our first number, 4, multiply it by the next digit in the top row. That gives us 4 times 1 is equal to 4. And then we add to it what's up on top plus 1 is equal to 5. I'm going to write that down here. So 13 times 4 is 52. Let's try another example. Twenty-nine times 2. Okay? We write it in the column format. We take our first number, 2, multiply it by the first number in the uh, top column. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. The 8 we write down below, and the 1 we put up on top. Next, we take 2 times 2, and that's equal to 4. And then we add what's above. Plus 1 is equal to 5. 58. Okay, let's, let's uh, have another example. Let's try... Uh, 32 times 4. Okay? 3, 2, 4. So we wrote this out in our uh, column format. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So it's only uh, one, one digit this time. So we write the 8 down here. And then 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 1, 2, 12. So we get 128. Okay, so we've seen uh, multiplying two numbers together in which uh, one of them is uh, just a single digit. Let's look at what happens if we start adding digits to the second number. So let's take uh, 18 times, uh, let's try 12, okay? So we're going to write this out in our column format. We take, we start with a 2, I'm going to change colors here so that we can, uh, 
use a different color for each of these. So we'll start out with a 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. We write the 6, and then we put the 1 up top. Okay? 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Add the dead digit from the top. You get 3. Okay? Now, we're going to move on to the next number in the bottom row. The 1. Now, before we do this, because we're on the second number, you have to put a 0 below the 6. And, and you'll, you'll see, you'll see where this, where this is going, but right now we should write a 0 there. So 1 times 8 is 8, so we write that 8 next to the 0, and then 1 times 1 is 1, write a 1 there. Okay, so we finished the multiplication, and we wound up now with uh, these other two rows. Well, the next step in this method is to take and to add those two rows together. So we use long addition to say 6 plus 0 is 6. 8 plus 3 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 216 is our answer. So notice that in this method, uh, we are basically going to, going to go through all the digits in the bottom row, one at a time, multiplying them against every one of the digits in the top row. And as we cycle through the bottom row, we're going to be adding zeros to, uh, to give us uh, uh, a shift in our answer. Now this is all because what we're essentially doing is we're shifting from the ones to the tens to the hundreds, uh, and that's why we're adding the zeros. Uh, but right now, just learn this as a method, and eventually the the underlying concepts will will uh, work for you. So let's let's pick another example. Let's pick a longer one this time, right? Let's pick uh, three hundred twenty-four times. 128, right? You can't do that in your head, but we can do it with this technique. 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, 8 times. So let's start, uh, I'm going to pick orange for my first color. So 8 times 4 is 16 to 32. So we put the 2 on the bottom, put the 3 on the top. Then 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 is equal to 19. So we put the 9 on the bottom, we put the 1 on the top, now, uh, 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24, we put, well, we have, don't have another column, so we're just going to write 2, 4. Okay, I'm going to change colors, let's pick a kind of dark green. Erase these. I'm going to erase these numbers on the top. So go to the next digit, which are two. We're going to put a zero in the far right. Now two times four is eight. So I write the eight here. Two times two 
is 4, so I write 4, and 2 times 3 is 6, so I write 6. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now we're going to move on to the last digit, which means that now we have to put two zeros in our third uh, row. One times four is four. One times two is two. One times three is three. Okay. Draw a line. Add these together. Two plus zero plus zero is two. 9 plus 8 plus 0 is 17. Uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 13. 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we now have the answer to our multiplication. And you can make these numbers as, as you know, large as you want. Uh, and this, this technique uh, will be robust. So you can have you know, 10 digits here, and that just means that as you make more rows, you have to keep adding zeros to the, the right-hand side. So this is the, the method of long multiplication.